Hey guys and welcome to another new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today I want to talk to you guys about Nook Miles. I'm going to go over everything we know so far and maybe a little bit of speculation about the feature as well. So if you're excited for this video, be sure to leave a like, I would appreciate it, and let's get straight into it. Now you guys might remember in Animal Crossing New Leaf, there was an update in November 2016 called the Welcome Amiibo update, and obviously as the title suggests, they added in a lot of Amiibo content. But another little feature they added in was Meow Coupons and the Cat Machine. These were basically a new type of currency that you could use in the game to buy special items from the campground as you can see on screen and you would complete these little initiatives every day, like little tasks around your town to get these coupons and you could spend them on whatever you wanted in the campground. Well, this feature seems to be returning in Animal Crossing New Horizons, in fact, we know that for a fact. It is returning as Nook Miles, a little app in your phone, and of course this is inspired by the airline mileage systems, they've even directly said that in their treehouse presentation, and it's pretty exciting because I felt like the feature in Animal Crossing New Leaf was good, just a bit limited, and it seems like it might be a bit more expansive in this game. We know so far that you'll be able to receive Nook Miles by doing quite a few different tasks around town, which I'm going to show all of those off, and you can also use Nook Miles for a different variety of things. For example, you can use them to get items, you can use them to complete other activities. We don't know what that means, but that is what they said. I'm assuming it may allow you to unlock certain things in the game. And also you can use them to get special recipes. So it's very interesting to see that Nook Miles is going to be a lot more expensive than the Meow Coupons from Animal Crossing New Leaf. But I want to go over every type of initiative or sort of, I don't know if you'd want to call it a quest, it's not really a quest, but every sort of initiative that we've got so far in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It seems like there are tons and there's probably loads more coming. I just want to go over the ones that we know about so far so you guys can get an idea of what type of activities and tasks you will be required to do to get Nook Miles, because some are certainly harder than others. So here's the first one, first time seller, it's fairly straightforward, and as you can see on this screen, once you've completed it, you will get a little pop-up that says you got Nook Miles. So this is basically how it works, you get 300 Nook Miles for doing this one, it's fairly simple, so I'm assuming the harder ones will require even more. This is DIY tools, You've just got to create five tools basically and then you get some nook miles, not too hard. Weed Eater, this one has seen a lot of traction online, I wonder why. You've got to dig up a ton of weeds basically. Fairly simple. Have a nice DIY, this one doesn't have a description but I'm assuming it's just for creating something. It seems like a fairly straightforward little task to do. Exterior decorator. Now this one could mean a few things. It may mean putting items outside or it may mean changing the exterior of your house. We haven't seen that being done yet. In 10 miles, this may just be for the presentation, but it could also just be a gift for starting up the game. It seems like something they would do. Angling for perfection. Again, we don't really know the description of this one, but it's probably just catching five fish, maybe in a row. Who knows? You got the bug, very similar to the previous one, definitely the same sort of thing, but with bugs this time, so you will have lots for bugs and for fish as well. First time seller, we've seen this one, it's fairly straightforward, just sell something to Timmy, and you get this one, you get 300 miles for doing that. And of course, you have to have first time buyer, same principle, same sort of thing, and you get Nook Miles for doing it. Here's pick of the bunch, I'm assuming this will have something to do with picking weeds, or maybe picking like every type of weed or something, or maybe even a clover, who knows. Here we have, have a nice DIY. You will have to craft five things here, and yes, then you get some Nook Miles. Social Islander, this one's quite interesting, you have to greet villagers a certain amount of times each day. Uh, seems like there's five steps to this one again, they all seem to have five steps. Very interesting one here, you have to use your Nook phone a certain amount of times or something and then you get Nook Miles. Bit confused about this one but excited for it. And here's one that has been making the rounds online, I've seen a lot of people talking about this one because you have to catch 10 fish in a row without letting one get away. This seems really hard and this definitely seems like something you may get later on in the game. Maybe you have to do a certain amount of Nook Miles before you can get harder ones like this. Because this isn't easy to do, this is something that is actually really tricky. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I struggle with fishing quite a lot in the games. And it's definitely going to be really tough to complete this for me. It sort of reminds me um, 
of, if you know this game, Pokemon Go, well, I'm sure you guys know it, but there's a sort of task that you can do in those games to get a reward, and you have to catch um, a certain amount of Pokemon in a row. And this is very similar, you know, it can be very tricky, it seems like it might be easy, but it's, it's, it's good that they're adding in some harder tasks for us to do as well. And another little thing that I noticed I want to point out, when you look in Tom Nook's little tent, he has this very special machine in the corner that we don't know what it is or what it does. This could just be an ATM, but it does look to me like it would be the sort of place where you would exchange your Nook Miles for items, recipes, and other activities. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, it was a lot of fun to make, and I really appreciate all your support. I'm so excited for Animal Crossing New Horizons and Nook Miles. If you enjoyed, leave a like, I would appreciate that, and of course subscribe for more Animal Crossing content. I will catch you guys in the next video.